Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout London with Bad Day Guy Gaming, where I've got myself in a little over my head. I've got weapons. I don't have tons of ammo. Problem is, the weapons, well, they're just not that good. I do have this new one, but it's still just a 38, and I only have 12 rounds of ammo, but... Yeah, that's pretty much everything I have. And, yeah, I think I'm going to have to change this around. So I think what I'm going to do... Yeah. This is not going to be good. I gotta figure out a way to be able to take these guys out reasonably without you they're Never already mind. coming okay they went quiet mm. nope I have to have a sneaky way to take these guys out. I know the one guy likes to come over here. He's one of the bigger threats. So. That will have to do for him. These guys... I would really love some grenades right now. to mess with the dog. You get me with her. He's the sniffer. He's down. Yeah, he's a little bit too much out of there. So uh, let me go back to a Brahmin burger again. Yep, yeah, got the one guy. all my ammo and getting nothing accomplished. Let's get this over with. Let me try... Oh, that's not doing it. Oh, nope. Injured, stint back. See, he's just a touch low. Oh, stint back again. Wonder if I can get up here. Funny bugger, is it? Oh. 
That's it. I'm out of ammo for that one. He's coming around. I'll knock you out, sunshine. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yep. <coughs> My perception just isn't there to be able to hit vats at that distance with a shotgun. These guys will not come very close. The one guy getting hung up on the wall. Actually, let me put down the fragmentation mine because it does still work on this one guy. What? Hey. And then. No more automatic. I'm going to have to stick to this one. He's down. Come on. What is... Was that a dog? That's a dog. Good dog. Yeah, I'm scratched. Let me try that, possibly. Yeah, that's not doing very good at all. Down to two of them at least. Three of them still. Oh. I wonder if I could retreat and pull him out to this corner a little bit. He's down. He's not. Yeah, I think I could take him. There we go. Now if I could just get a bead on this last guy. Stamp pack. Oh. 
Come on. Take him with his shot. I did it. Finally. Let me find this other guy. Oh, where is he? Oh, that's the dog. He was back here. He's the one who has the pin. There he is. Rim shackle submachine gun got his lapel pin. Okay, now let's see what these guys were guarding, if anything. As soon as I have the water. Five millimeter round. So they were guarding bricks. And a few nine millimeter rounds. Empty blood sack. Pretty much nothing. I went through all of my ammo. Even selling this stuff isn't going to be much. I did get one new weapon. Ramshackle submachine gun. Uses 45 ammunition of which I have 36 now. Yep, I think it's going to be time to get back. Figure out exactly which ones of these weapons I'm going to be keeping, selling. And that's a dog. The last thing I need is to die to a dog right now. Oh! And I spoke too soon. I died to a ladybug. Well, it was probably like a mine or whatever it was that exploded next to me. Okay. Grab this ammo. There's nothing else over here. Have a look at this machine gun again. Yep. Okay. Now, I think it's time to just head back. Put this away. Head inside. Okie dokie. Where'd he go? Oh, he's upstairs, isn't he? Yep. Is he? My mother wanted me to be a farmer. Oh, sorry. But I get me hands dirty in other ways. Oh, okay, you finished? Sorry about that. Just barging in. How goes the hunt? I'm done. Here's the Well, pin. well. I wasn't sure you had it in you, me old China. Very well done indeed. And good riddance to the dirty dog you scrubbed to get this. Here, keep this pin. 
Your first trophy is something to hold on to with pride. And take these threads. You're one of us now. So you ought to dress the part. Welcome to, to the Vagabonds. Now, I told you I had some big plans coming up. Come see me and the boys in the lounge and I'll tell you what comes next. Time for those dogs to find out what happens when we bite back. Wayfarer's Vagabond Cap. Luck 2. Uh, luck 2 is worth more than for protection of a hat, of a mining hat, so... Uh... Have a perk point. Uh... Still not going to get... Gun nuts, so I can actually start fixing some things up. I really need that. Okie doke. Oh. Before I see him, I think I need to run. Didn't your mum teach you better? Oh. I never noticed that big old hole in the wall. Is that like a shortcut down to the basement? Yes, it is. So that's not a workbench. I was thinking this was like a weapons workbench or something. mean I can actually start taking things to sell because I really need money capabilities and all that stuff yeah it's all up for grabs now if you hang around wouldn't it well none? we need the numbers here we all are then listen up lads I've called us together for a reason the dogs hit us hard last time coming right to the center of our turf. Well, I didn't want no rash response, but now our heads have cooled, it's time we looked at how to bite back. The dogs are trying to get the nuclear reactor on their turf up and running. We've got to win this war before that can happen. That reactor could produce double the power Battersea can. The gentry would have the tummies in their gaff in seconds they'd be untouchable. So now's the time to strike. And strike hard. And we've got us some extra help now. The lab rats we found down bridge is moving up in the world. This wayfarer is now a vagabond. Nice one. Good work, mate. Get in. You've had a taste of syndicate blood, wayfarer. I'm hoping you're hungry for more. Not at the moment. We're moving to a new phase in the war. One that's going to see us much more active. And I want you as our new commando. Uh... What do you mean by commando? Uh... Is this why the Vagabond outfit didn't come with underwear? Uh... Why is it playing Nelson here? I'm giving the orders here. That's all you need to know. What do you mean by commando? You've shown you're good on your feet in a tight spot. And you've shown you can carry out raids in enemy territory. And you can keep yourself alive doing so. Yeah. That's exactly what we need for some new aggressive assaults on the Syndicate. Okay. All right, what's my first mission? That's what I've got the lads here for. Chill, bullet tooth, shrapnel. I told you all I want new plans for how we can do some proper damage to the dogs. And new blood here is going to be our point person. What you got for me? Okay. 
I've got an easy aspiration, boss. I say we take down the, the dredge. mud chute prison boat? What do you mean, take it down? We crack it open and steal the yoke. There's a bunch of our blokes in there. Lab right here can sneak in, let everyone out, then set a few well-placed bombs to sink the I whole damn place. I you're a fucking lunatic, Johnny. You've mentioned it a few times, boss. But, uh, what exactly is it about this that seems so the mad? The bridge is guarded to the tits. You couldn't sneak a gnat's fart in there and watch the good in blowing it up. Syndicates have been trying to call us terrorists ever since we broke out that friend of Yvette. If we bomb a prison, they'll just use that as propaganda against us. Not everyone's fond of prisons gone, and our lot in there have some grit in a fight. Would be nice to have them back in our numbers rather than rotting There's in the There's some clink. logic in your lunacy, Shrapnel. We could do with more hands. And it would stick it to the dogs if we break our boys out of the dream. All right. Tell our chum your plan, then. Okay. What do I do when I'm in there? Our vagabonds are kept in a block near the front. But you'll have to take down the security system before the you spring The cells themselves are unlocked from the warden's office down the back of the There's ship. There's a bigger block oh, boy, in the middle you can yeah, open the same way, anyway. full of the gentry's convicts. It would be good to set the and whole place free. shut as soon as they try to leave. Our boys can handle themselves. But the other numpties will just get slaughtered or recaptured and we'll get the blame for Maybe it. Maybe our nuttery could help take out some of the enforcers. No one deserves to rot in that place. And if we get the other prisoners out, we're free to set the bombs and do some permanent or fucking damage. Or with everyone sandwiched between explosions and syndicate enforcers. It would be a clusterfuck, Johnny. Let's just focus on getting our own lot out. Them others aren't our problem. But the dredge. Maybe it's too hard. But damn, I'd love to see that hellhole sink. Okay. How can there's I get a gangplank from the shore near the front, and there's groups of guards patrolling all the time there. It's pretty tight. Like no the one's boss ever said. gotten in by brute force. But a lone nutter, being all sneaky like, I reckon he could work. You'll want to clever. go at night, of course. Less patrols. The door on the ship is locked, but it's not fancy if you know your way around some tumblers. Or you could try loot a key from the guard patrol, whilst not summoning all of Gehenna upon Should you. Should all be pretty easy in theory. Right? This is fucking madness, Johnny. Why, Fred, are you feel up to this? Uh... If things go tits up, then scram and come back when it's all settled. Don't try to just force your way in. You'll raise too much hell. Okay. Think I have it all figured out. Fan fucking tastic. Here, three bombs is enough to sink the ship if you get the chance They'll to use them. They'll need placing around the lower deck. Once they're set, you'll need a scarper. Good luck, mate. Okay, what's your plan? All right, gents. So tell me, what does the syndicate have in abundance that we don't? Webtoes. Herpes. Literally everything. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, probably. But I'm thinking of one thing in particular. Supplies. While we're choking down squirrel stew and using rock gut whiskey to treat anything from the flu to a bullet in the head, the IODS has enough food and medicine to supply both of them and the whole I of the it's high time. time we alleviate them of some of that excess and put ourselves in a position to succeed. After all, health so is well. So what are you suggesting we do about it? And if you say a train robbery again, I swear to God. Well, now, just hear me out. There's a train that makes up a third of the Syndicate supply line. Oh, for fuck's sake, Winston. You've been reading your bloody spy comic books again. You're not 006 or whatever. Give it a rest. Well, it's 005, actually. And what I read in my spare time has nothing to do with this. I really don't see what your issue is anyway. They have supplies. They transport them via train. We rob the train. It's simple. It's not bloody simple. It's never bloody simple. There are far too many variables at play in a job like that. We broke even by the skin of our bollocks on the supply run to the lab. And you want to up the ante? Not a chance. Out of the question. That's just it though, innit? You're looking at the ones and zeros of the returns from the lab. But the real intangible score of that job run is staring us right in the bloody what face. What are you on about? What the wayfarer? Hmm. Not a bad point. All right, fine. Here's what we'll do. Let's send the wayfarer to strap on a tux and play international spy. And if they don't come back, we're only back to net zero on that lab run. 
Happy? Seems like the more people we send, the better chance of success we'd have. But, yeah, sure. I'll take what I can get. Good. You should be thanking me for even agreeing to that. The stakes mm. of a job like this are still sky high. Seeing as if the Wayfair have fucks this up, the heat comes down on our heads like a red coach's deli belly. You hear that, <laughs> Wayfarer? If you muck this up and get yourself killed, I'll find you in the afterlife and shit down your throat for the rest of eternity. Mm. Excellent. So the train passes through Poplar Station. That's where you'll be heading first. The station is a syndicate outpost. So you'll most likely have to put down some dogs to get to the control room. Once you're there, all you have to do is switch the train's route to Canning Town Station. Hop aboard, and Bob's your uncle, you're done. We'll be waiting in Canning Town to unload the supplies. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be just that simple. What could go wrong? It's only the Syndicate's most important and highly guarded assets we're talking about. So in mm. case it's not the sunny stroll in the park that Winston is presenting it as, take these explosives. If we can't have those supplies, nobody can. Get me? If things start going south, blow that train to kingdom come. Even if we come away empty-handed, at least we'll muck up the Syndicate's main supply lines. But securing those supplies is still the main objective. So don't go blowing them up for the hell of it. Any questions? Why are the Syndicate sending supplies to the Gentry? The Vat Cats of the Gentry struck a bit of a deal with the Mangy Mutts of the Isle a while back, in exchange for guns, slave labour, tickets, and a promise not to kick down their doors in the middle of the night. The Syndicate supplies Her Majesty and the Distinguished Royal Court with food, medicine, and other But it's no essentials. secret that there's very little love lost between the lot. All it might take to get the Gentry to double back on their little deal is a slight rock of the old boat. If you catch something well, like a dashing rogue agent with a license to kill, intercepting their supply run, for instance. Okay, uh, what kind of supplies are we talking about exactly? Medicine, wool, other finished goods and the like. But most importantly, anything you've been craving while licking the lid of a tin of dog food. They've got it in that tray. mash, eggs and rashers, proper baked beans, fish and chips, steaks as thick as a phone book. They've got you it all this job off, and we'll quite literally be eating like royalty. Okay. Good luck, mate. The lads will see you in Cannon Town. Quick, take this before Gaunt sees. Okay. That's useful. Christ. This is such a mistake. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. Alright, what's your plan? Guns is what we need, boss. Yes. Syndicate always have more than us. Way more. We can't win a war without enough weapons. Syndicate get regular supplies from the gentry factories. I know of a depot they run in a warehouse by West India Quay. I say we break in there and clean it out. You must be joking. Security will be tighter than a rat's arse there. I'd have to send a whole team in to get more than a handful of guns. It's too dicey by half. I know a gal that might be able to help us. An old, uh... Associate. She could find a way past the systems there, at least long enough to shift some crates out. We just need someone to break in and open the loading bay from the inside. No, this is just stupid. Get your fucking brain in gear. I want to hurt the dogs, not do some petty theft. Anything we nick, they just replace in a week. We'd be better off burning the place down. Destroy whatever's there. Fancy security and all, and fuck up their supply operations for months. Wouldn't even take much explosives to fry a weapons dump. You're cool, boss. But there's bound to be some lovely gear in there. We'd be a crying shame to see it all go to waste. If we're burning a place down, then there's no harm in nabbing some guns while we're at it, is there? Okay, sure. But that's just some frosting. The real aim here is to fuck over the Syndicate. You've been paying attention, Wayfarer. Oh, grab some guns, then burn it to the ground. Good. Take these charges. Find a way into this warehouse and set them somewhere that'll cook extra crisp. And take this old card of mine and go see Frosty Valentina. She runs a bakery these days near Millwall High Street. She should recognize the card from our old days. I'd go see her myself, but the Syndicate sniffers would kill me on sight. 
Tell her what you're about, and she can sort you with something to bypass the security systems. Waste of time. We don't need this Millwall bint. Mm. Hey, no need to talk about Valentina like that. Fine. I just want the fucking job done. No distractions. No distractions. We need the numbers. Okay. Well, that's our plans. Blind Nelson. We won't fall to the likes of the dogs or anyone else. Okay. Well, I guess I get to figure out what I'm going to do. More bodies getting shite done never hurt anything. Yep. Uh, you wouldn't have to have any more stuff, What's would you? What's your poison? Take a look. Okay. No. No. Enjoy. Okay. I may have to make the run to the trader again. Oh. oh I, I can loot everything here. They might have... My mother wanted me to be a farmer. But I'll get my hands dirty in other ways. Oh. Oh. I'll take those. 30 classic. Oh, yeah. Okay. Food. Uh. Tradables. Shotgun shells. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to basically go over this place. Search it head to toe. Stim pack, right away. Blood pack. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. But I get my hands dirty in other ways. Thief coaster. So what I need to do is search this place over to get any supplies. Bleach. Plenty. Oh. I'll take the tickets. Look where you're going. Well, then get out of my way. Watch me again. Horse me. Consequences. If you hang around. I remember something none. about that. We need the numbers. Dirty water. Bangers and mash. Corned beef. Oh yeah. Scissors. Don't need scissors. Two bobby pin boxes. I'm gonna need a bunch of ammo. I need to like search this place top to bottom. More bodies getting shite done, never hurt anything. And see if I can find anything else that might be of value. Let me check. Nothing over here. There were some other. I'll collect up as much ammo as I can, then I'm going to search these weapons and figure out. Double check over here. Do you have a chemistry station? My mother wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. That would have helped during the last one. Uh, I need to get some more caltrops. Grenades. I have the stuff to make some Molotovs. Okay. I think that will do me for a moment. Not really anything else here. Gin cocktail. I'll take that. Okay. If Let me go look upstairs. Ooh, Wouldn't look at all this. Not. We need the numbers.
Double check downstairs. Now that I can take most of the stuff, I can probably find nothing else around. Probably find some more ammo at least. Can't take any of this guy's stuff. At least not yet. Nothing else down here. Check upstairs. Once we figure all that out, we'll kind of get ourselves sorted out. If you wang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Plenty of food, alcohol, straw plant, mutated strawberry. Getting shite done never hurt anything. Some dog food, which is theft. Cigarettes, which is theft. All of this stuff is theft. So, this is somebody's private quarters. wanted me to be a farmer, but I get my hands dirty in other ways. Okay, so that's all I can take from up here. That stuff obviously belongs to individuals, but everything down here is like fair game, which makes sense. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. But I get my hands dirty in other ways. Okay, well, uh, what else do I have for options for trading? I could go see the trader lady. Double check, do it yourself. I think that's what I'm going to do. Empty scotch bottle. I don't think there's anything else around here ammo wise that I could take so what if I got uh, have a 32 pistol don't need that because I'm gonna stick with the nine I'm gonna keep the knife just in case keep the caltrops I'm gonna get rid of this it's just I've decided I'll never use it I'll probably never use the knife I only have 36 rounds for this I gotta ditch those, keep those. Now that this I might keep, keep the double barrel. I'm probably gonna, this is a 32, same as the others. It does 18, this does 18, but it's silenced. I might end up having to switch to that. Uh, this is 32. This thing is just worthless. I only have three rounds. 38T round. More bodies getting shot done, never hurt anything. Yeah. There was a bed upstairs. I think I can sleep on that. It is currently 5.06 p.m. Every one of the missions are up here. Speak with Frosty Valentine. HMS Dredge. That's the ship that I saw. Enter the Syndicate Warehouse and travel to Poplar Station. Hmm... I also need to
I need to get to that place and get cured. I mean, I'm still... Ooh, what's my carry weight? I can carry a lot, lot more around? stuff. We're not, not. We need the numbers. I'm thinking... I might rob this place blind. See if I can find that other town with vendors and see if I could sell some stuff and get some better equipment, weapons, whatever I might be able to get. And I need a place. I need a place to be able to store stuff. I can't just carry everything with me forever. And while these guys are nice, just doesn't really work. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to have to focus on my health, getting myself a little bit better equipped before I start any of these missions.